Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vinuta Studio and today a quick video to share with you a free sample from a pointer title pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. Then you can open the folder. In the folder, you will find a couple of things. You will have the license, the installation instruction and the GRFX file. Just double click on the GRFX file to start the installation. Right now, it's just asking me if I want to overwrite because I already have the title installed. So I'm just gonna say yes for you, just click install. Then once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Titles, Video Editor Studio. Then you can just scroll all the way down to Sample. Here, as you can see, I already have a bunch of sample installed, but right now we're just gonna use the pointer sample. So we're just gonna take that and drag it here in our timeline. We can then stretch the title to the entire duration of my clip right here. And as you can see, if I play it right now, it's just a continuous animation going up and down. There is no animation in, no animation out. If you want to add an animation in and out, I would recommend to use a fade in transition. You can easily do that by selecting here the title and then it command T and it will just bring here uh, a fade in transition. So here we'll have just a fade in for the arrow and a fade out for the arrow still. Right now I just used a shortcut to apply the transition, but you can also find it here in video transition. I've basically just applied across this whole transition, but you can also play around with other transition available natively inside of DaVinci Resolve. For example, right here, RGB splitter, I can just drag that and apply it here at the beginning of my clip, and it will just give me a different kind of animation in. Now let's see what we can do in the inspector. As you can see here, we have just a couple of things. We can adjust the position of that arrow. We can adjust the size as well and the angle. So right now we're just gonna tilt the angle to show here in the direction of the phone and we're just gonna adjust the position right there. Another cool thing, you can quickly here just flip the arrow and you can also flip the position of the shadow. Then here in color, you can just change the color of that arrow. So here, for example, we can make it red. We can also use a gradient, for example, and here just change the color of that gradient. At any moment, if you want to reset a setting, you can just double click on it to reset to the original setting. So right now, for example, colors, I can just double click on it and it will just reset to white. Then here we have the shadow control so we can adjust the shadow strength. So right now, as you can see, it's just basically playing with the opacity of the shadow. We can adjust the drop angle of that shadow, the drop distance, the blur of the shadow. And you can also change the color of the shadow. Then we have the glow. So here we can just increase the overall glow of the arrow. We can play around with the glow size and the blend, which is the overall strength of the effect. Another thing, like any of our title, you got a background. So here we can just increase the opacity of the background. But maybe for that specific scenario, the best usage would be to, for example, here, bring the opacity all the way up. Then we can just maybe reduce the width and the height. We can then switch to invert and we're basically gonna use that background instead as a mask to bring the focus right there on the phone. So I'm just gonna reduce the width by a lot, the height as well. We're just gonna increase the corner radius, adjust the position, and here make some slight adjustment to the size. Once again, adjust the position a little bit more, and now we're gonna decrease the opacity of that background. And now, as you can see, it's just driving even more the focus on whatever we're pointing at. So let's play it. Obviously, for that kind of scenario, you need to have a static shot that will look better. But that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. If you enjoy that title, you can find a full pack with a bunch of different pointers available on our website. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.